Good morning, GMS. I'm Erin. And I'm Lily. Welcome to the GMS News Show of the Week of March 6, 2023. 6th and 7th grade students, if you don't want to be in band or choir next year, then please have a parent email Ms. Marshall at kmarshall at gws.k12.in.us. Yearbooks may still be purchased. Just visit yearbookforever.com to order yours today. Students, don't forget to bring $5 for Ella's in the cafeteria on Tuesday. Students, remember that this Friday is going to be the end of the third nine weeks. Now let's go to the Chop Trending and the GMS Sports Update. Have a great week, GMS! Hello, wel welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Lucy. And I'm Annika. Let's get started. According to Doggo News, a 30-year-old farm dog named Bobby had just been recognized by the Guinness World Records as the oldest living dog. The February 1st, 2023 announcement came just two weeks after the 23-year-old Chihuahua named Spike received the title. Bobby also broke an almost century old record for the world's oldest dog ever. It had been held by Bluey, a female Australian cattle dog. She was 29 years old and five months old when she died in 1939. Bobby is a purebred refugio. The livestock guardian dogs live an average of 12 to 14 years. Bobby, who will be turning 31 on May 11, 2023, has far outlived his peers. Also, according to Dog News, a boxer pit bull mix named Van Gogh had lost his ear in a dog fighting ring. He was living in a shelter in North Carolina. Jacqueline Gardiner, the founder of Happily Forever After Rescue in Connecticut, knew that if no one adopted him, he would have to be put down. She enlisted a nonprofit profit Pilots and Paws to bring Van Gogh to Connecticut on a private plane. He was so friendly right at the start. Gardiner was able to find a foster home for Van Gogh but getting him adopted proved a tap challenge. Not a single application came in, she told Washington Post. I couldn't believe it. He was the cutest dog ever. She wondered if the one-year-old pooch could live up to his namesake artist. She dotted a blank canvas with different colored paints. She placed it inside a plastic bag. bag. Gardiner then spread a light layer of peanut butter across the plastic. As the pooch eagerly lapped his favorite treats, and his tongue tra traversed the canvas, creating a colorful painting. When she shared this painting online, he is instantly went viral. His remaining, his remaining 30 masterpieces sold out almost immediately, and dozens more were ordered. The best part was Jessica Steros fell in love with him, the, with, fell in love with the one-eared pooch, and decided to adopt him. That's all for top trending. Have a great week, GMS. On sports, I'm Colton. Let's look at this week's home events. Monday, March 5th, 7th grade girls basketball versus Franklin Sun at 5.30 p.m. 8th grade girls basketball versus Franklin Sun at 7 p.m. Wednesday, March 8th, middle school swimming versus Beach Grove Middle School, Sun at 5.30 p.m. That's it for sports. See you next time. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I am Joshua here with middle school nurse. Jen Meyer. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Question one. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, sure. I was born and raised in Indiana. Um, graduated from Mount Vernon High School. And I have two daughters, Bryn and Kendall. That's cool. Uh, question two. What do you remember most about when you were in middle school? Uh, not a lot. It's been a while. Um, probably sports, teachers, things like that. Uh, do you enjoy cooking? What is your favorite, and if you do, what is your favorite dish to make? I do enjoy cooking. Not so much the cleaning up, but cooking, yes. Um, and probably oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. I know. <laughs> Sounds interesting. <laughs> Question five, what, or sorry, question four, what would your normal day be like as the school nurse? Um, well, every day is different down here, I would say, so there's not really a typical day. It's very busy, but beyond that, just depends. 
Question five, what are some of your favorite travel destinations when you were on vacation? Um, we love Destin and then Colorado would be our other one, favorite. That's cool. Thank you for coming on to our show today, Mrs. Meyer. Have a great week. Thanks, you too. <laughs> Hello, GMS. Welcome to this week's weather forecast. The forecast for the week of March 6th to March 10th. Now, since we're in March, which you all know is basically spring, we're expecting almost 70 on Monday because spring, 70, March, it's all the same thing. And it's partly cloudy. There's realistically not going to be any precipitation. You can wear probably just like a pretty decent, like maybe a long sleeve shirt, maybe even short sleeve if you're willing for the challenge. On Tuesday, it's basically Monday, just colder. So probably like a jacket like this is pretty good. I'm no longer wearing the winter coat on this set. So Wednesday, it's basically the same. The whole week's very similar, which is pretty good. I mean, it's less work for me, but like, I don't have to put in all these like crazy numbers and see if it's real or not. But it's 46, low of 28. In the morning, if you're getting on the bus, if you're a bus rider, you might want to wear like a coat or something, but that's unnecessary. You're only out there for 10 seconds. Thursday, and we all play video games anyway. Uh, Thursday, it's literally the exact same. So all my advice, just repeat that. Just like a jacket like this, probably fine. And Friday, it's cloudy, it's boring, but everyone loves Friday, so it's good. This is also the last day of quarter three. So if you have any like assignments due, and you know, there's a lot of big assignments that are due this date. So I would do a lot of work on Friday. And throughout this week, I'd recommend like study hall and stuff, doing your work. Precipitation might be a bit higher. You might see some like showers, and the wind is 14 miles per hour. So that's all for over this week by GMS. Welcome to GMS Roll Call. This week's roll call question is: is if you were an animal, which animal would you be, and why? I would like to be a parrot because parrots are colorful, colorful, and they can fly. I would want to be a capybara because capybaras are so cool. I would be um, a rat because ratatouille has me inspired. I would be a fox because like they're really stealthy and you, they can do anything. I would like to be a giraffe because I wouldn't be called short anymore. I would want to be a rat because they can go in small places. A penguin. And why? Because penguins are cute and they can um, swim really fast. I would like to be a muskrat because muskrats are, uh, not a lot of people know them and they're cute. I'd be a giraffe because I'd be tall. Hello, my name is Trevor Capian, and today I'd like to go to the past as I show you the weirdness that is middle school. And how, you ask? Well, let me show you through the oh world. Oh Thank you. Yeah. As I show you the wonders of middle school using this yearbook. <gasps> All right, scram! Sorry, sorry. <sighs> All right, first up, we have the 2020 school year. Oh boy, that was confusing. Danny Clark? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? Uh, what, what are you doing? What? Six feet. Six feet away. I have. I, I don't have Lysol. <gasps> Where's my Lysol? Where's my Lysol? Thank you. You're a lifesaver. My Lysol. What? I will spray you. I will what spray you, you with this Lysol. What? I promise you. I don't care. Uh, uh, Pardon the interruption. Uh, the following uh, students, oh no, oh please oh report no. to the oh wrestling oh room. God. You're calling people down in the wrestling room. Put that away. Next up, we have the 2021 school year. And that was something. Uh, all right, here we go. Hey, 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 where's your mouth? Wait, didn't you hear they're not required 
anymore. Oh, lovely. I know. And then they were. Hover magenta. Oh, come on. Why? And then they were calling people down to no, the wrestling no, room. No, 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 no. That's yeah, bad. never mind. Oh, lovely. And if you thought that was bad, then kids started stealing stuff. Um, what? Uh, what you got there? N nothing. It sure? looks like you have something. Is that a no, ceiling no. tile? No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. What? Um. Not oh, it's all right. Well, and next we have the 2022 school year. <sighs> Wait. We don't have anything for that. Well, maybe we should do something about it. Like, I don't know. Maybe Buy a yearbook? <laughs> Thank you.